Hi, it's Laura Lee. I'm going to just show you quickly, I hope, um, how to take a, um, a data file, a zip file from WP Clone, and move it over to your hosting site if for some reason you don't have access to it um, from a live website. So for example, on my site right now I have um, a file that I could just copy the URL, URL right here and paste it over to another website that I'm wanting to, um, to clone. So um, that would be obviously the ideal way of doing it, but if for some reason you don't have it and you need to um, grab a backup version of it and you have it on your desktop or somewhere else, then, um, and you can do that really easy by just clicking on this link right here and it will down immediately start downloading. Which I'll show you that. Let's see how that works. Um, if I just click on this once, it should start the download process. I'll just click cancel on it, but you can see it just starts to download right away. Um, cancel there. So I'm going to show this to you in two different ways. I'm going to show one through FileZilla and the other one through the cPanel. I'll start with the cPanel. Um, I'm heading over to my hosting company HostGator and uh, most of the hosting companies have something that are somewhat similar to this. Head over to the file manager section and then navigate in the file manager over to the public underscore HTML folder and that's um, for me is quite uh, quite a ways down, so it's right there. Sorry about that little extra noise is there. Um, and then I just want to go to any of my my websites and just go to um, the main part, main URL. And then I would um, click on upload and just upload the file that I wanted to upload. So in this case, the zip file. So you can just choose a file, upload it, and then um, when you go to the website that you want to um, clone from, clone to, I guess, um, you'll put restore from URL and you'll put the, the URL of the website you just uploaded to and then the file extension that you uploaded. So you'll just put in, I'm going to undo that, um, so you'll just put in the, the um, ultimately the full URL of where the file is now living. Okay, so the other way we're going to do this is through FileZilla, which is going to work better for a file that's as big as the one we're looking at right now. I wouldn't, I don't think I would take this route if I was uploading more than maybe, I'm not sure, maybe 50 megabytes or something to go through the file manager route, just because you're uploading through the cloud and it's a bit slower. Sometimes it can be limited to by your hosting company. Um, okay, so FileZilla is just opening up on my computer right now, and it's down here. And um, you'll need to know, obviously, your host name your username and your password, and that's to the hosting company that you belong to. Mine, um, I have one set up already, so that's my um, user information is right there, and hopefully that's the right password. We'll give that a whirl. And you can see right away there was a whole bunch of activity activity happening up at the top, and it says that it was the status is successful, so it's open now. Um, and then on this left side is your computer stuff, the things that are physically on your computer, and this is what's up on the remote site. So this is local, this is remote. And so you'll see all of the files that are on your computer, just everything that's normal for your computer. I've already, um, uh, the last time I was here I had been on a in a folder where I had a WP clone file, so it's really easy, it's already in the right spot for me. So um, this is the file I'll transfer over for this example. And then on this side, I need to open up the file folder directory. Once again, I'm going to go back to um, that public underscore HTML folder. That's where all of my website, actual web, live stuff lives. So public HTML. And then I might as well go to the same URL that I was showing you in the other example. So right here to 14 day product challenge. I'll just double click that. And then I'll take this file. And just like you would if you were on your PC, transferring from one folder to another, I just pick it up and drag it over. And you can see some activity happening up at the top. It's um, starting the transfer. You look down at the bottom and you can see um, that it's 6% transferred. You can go away and have a cup of coffee or relax or do something else while this finishes up. Depending on the, f the file size and your internet speed, it, it can go really fast or it can take a while. So just let the file transfer over and then when it's done, you can come back again to the website, the same, very same thing that we were doing before um, had you uploaded it to the cloud. 
is put in the URL of the website where you posted it to and the file name and then just click agree and restore from URL and you should be good to go. Of course let me know if anything comes up okay take care bye